on the side here. So we are still working on our house in Newport. Yeah, but we're doing flooring today. So remember this bedroom and how we had to open up the floor and the, and the side of the wall so that the um, leveling guys could get underneath and level the house? Well, husband and I, we had an idea uh, to fix the wall. We put a pretty thing on the wall. So uh, here's husband making that pretty thing on the wall. <laughs> So here's the kitchen. It's all full of stuff, like the table saw, the scroll saw, boxes of the flooring, and the new door is in there too. I'm so excited about that. Uh, Hub started laying down the pad while I read the directions for laying the flooring. Now, we've done this before, but it's been about 12 years ago or so. And even with that experience, it took us a while to get you know, into the groove of how that flooring worked and all the tricks of it. Directions say not to have a pattern, but after we did a couple rows, we're like, ah, there's a pattern! Um, but then we looked at it and we're like, well, why shouldn't you have a pattern? So uh, we decided to just keep the pattern and went on with it, and we like it. The flooring in the living room has a few mistakes, but the kitchen is pretty good since we got better as we went. We figured out a system where I would lay down as many rows as possible, and then both of us would click them together. And that system worked pretty well. Here is the kitchen all finished and swing around and here's the living room. The bedroom hadn't been tackled yet in this shot, but I wanted to mention the crawl space to go under the house, the crawl space door. It was very much of a challenge. So we had to cut the boards and attach them to the crawl space lid, but it turned out better than we expected. It messed up the pattern, but that's okay. Here's the bedroom. It went super quick with the decorative hole hider. Okay, the flooring is finished. On to the kitchen cabinets. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.